is my neighbor? And he taught it in this parable. And the circle of friends that Jesus kept around him were an interesting crew. Those he called friend and neighbor, by the way, would likely not be welcomed, hallelujah, <laughs> as anything other than objects of mission work in many of the churches that I've been to. But Jesus never made an excuse for his friends. You know, I love that about Jesus. Because you know how people will say, and I've had this experience in my life, they'll say, well, you know, Yvette is gay, but you know, I, I like to keep gay people around me, but I'm not gay. <laughs> Don't, oh, I'm just saying. You know, what, the way they say it is, and I'm her ally. You know, that's code language. Anybody understand what I'm saying? Jesus never said when somebody said, Jesus' disciples drink too much, I can't imagine Jesus saying, but I don't drink. <laughs> or Jesus' disciples eat too much because, you know, they call them gluttons. You know, I, know Jesus, I cannot imagine him saying, well, they, they eat, but, you know, I don't do that. I'm just here to kind of help them. You know, I'm just here. Because whatever was visited on them, he let it be vicariously visited on him. And sometimes when I'm standing around a, gr a group of people who have recently been called out from an incarcerated situation, and I'm standing with them, and people assume that I've also been to jail. It gives me joy for the people to make the assumption. <laughs> Anybody understand what I'm saying? And for me not to be wonderful at their expense. 